Yes, good morning. Republicans say that the proposed legislation makes it easier for people to vote. On the other side, Democrats say it does just the opposite, and they call it a voter suppression tactic. The intention of these proposals is very clear. It is to make it so that fewer people will vote in elections in Michigan. In future elections, Michigan Senate Republicans would like to see the following rules in place. Voters would be required to submit a photo ID and those unsolicited absentee ballot applications that went out last year from the Secretary of State because of COVID-19, that mass mailing would be prohibited. Also, the hours that people can drop off their ballot at curbside boxes would be restricted. Democrats like Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist say the measures piggyback off of the false premise of a rigged 2020 election and that the proposals primarily target people who are low income as well as people of color. The prepaid postage is about basically instituting a poll tax in the state of Michigan because you need to have a stamp, which costs money to be able to vote. That's ridiculous and undemocratic and is a, a, a callback uh, to the Jim Crow South and the, and the poll tax that existed there. Um, again, this is just about how many barriers can they erect in one session in one day. Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky, a Republican, tweeted just the opposite, stating, quote, the Michigan Senate GOP is committed to making it easier to vote and harder to cheat, end quote. He says it's about restoring confidence in the election process and giving everyone a voice. Now, here's more on the voter identification issue. The ACLU claims that requiring voter ID is discriminatory in nature, in part because of the because of the costs associated uh, with obtaining an ID that includes the travel, which they say can be burdensome for those who are elderly, the disabled, as well as those who live in rural areas. We'll get a little bit more into that at six o'clock. Now, Seven Action News did reach out to the Michigan GOP for comment on this story. As of news time, we have not heard back. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, Seven Action News. All right, thank you so much, Darren.